month tour of this car, I had no intention of even buying this car. A friend of mine's told me, yo, come out with me to Tampa to go check out this car. Went with him, checked it out for him, and he was like, you know what? I don't really want it too much. It was like a stupid cheap price or whatever. Cause the only thing I noticed was like, hey, the transmission is like, it's about to be done, like done, done. And he got some little, little body work, whatever. But besides that, the engine was like perfect. And for the cost of how much it was, it was like, yo, I could take the motor out. It's worth, the amount I paid was less than how much uh, F4 motor is, a good working F4 motor is going nowadays. So I was like, all right, cool. If anything pop off, I can just take the motor out, do whatever, whatever, and part out the rest. So I was like, all right, cool. Bought it, and I limped it. Like, the car was in limp mode in, like, I don't know, like, fourth gear or some weird gear. I parked it up and drove it a few times, still in that limp mode. I was trying to figure it out, but I had no time to, like, deal with it. So went ahead and bought a transmission from this guy on um, Facebook Marketplace. I was hoping it was in good condition and dude was like truly trusted. Came in clutch. Homeboy at like Lehigh Acres or something like that. So I got it off of him and drove it home. And a friend of mine was like, yo, I put it in for you for a good price. So paid him, dropped it off, dropped the car off. Um, he fixed it and the car been running pretty good. So the main part of the car was it was uh the transmission was done. So now the transmission in stepped into it, everything is hitting boosts, all kind of stuff. So skirting on corners. So I was like happy about that. The good thing is the motor wasn't bad. Um everything's clicking with it. So yeah, now I'm just trying to like keep up with the maintenance because whoever had it before was like I don't know what they were doing this car. I'm trying to keep it stock and not really do nothing with it, but just like bring it up to like OEM spec. A little deep down, I'm like, yo, slam it down. Um, put some nice wheels on it and throw a single on top and yeah, call it a day. Stuff like that. I really don't want to dump money into that car. I still got a silver one. I have like a lot more speed upgrades and all that stuff. It's like the canvas is already said. I learned everything I know on the N54 on the silver one. So whatever mistakes I made on the silver one, I could easily translate them to the white one. I'm like, hey, cool, this is how you do it, blah, 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 blah. Actually, I had this car, the silver one, for like almost a good minute since 2009 in January. So we in January now, so it's this anniversary since I bought it. The main part is I just got to bring the maintenance up to par. And after I'm done with that, then I should be able to figure out what I want to do. Anybody just make some ideas down in the comments below. I'm still touring some stuff around. Let me show you a bit of the inside and then we go outside. Nothing to see here really. It's just standard wood, non-sport steering wheel. Everything's pretty clean here. Ah, I was, meaning, I was looking for one of these at the junkyard, but didn't find one. But it's kind of scratched up or whatever. But other than that, it's pretty clean. And over here too, I'm gonna need um one of these drink holders. I just want things to work, honestly. And I definitely gonna have to get the roof um, reupholstered and stuff like that. I might just get like a black, um, I have one inside the garage. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and might just wrap that in Alcantara and have the whole thing matching. And the rear is good, except for the handles. So just finished doing the fixing the window. So I gotta deal with that part, the handle part. Over here is good. So it's just this particular door. And then we got the tent. And yeah, final part would be the floor mats. But I have black floor mats in the silver one and I'm doing some interior work in there. So I just might as well just swap those around. That's why I'm gonna throw these out. I do not like these. They like heavy duty looking, but it has some like this middle part right here. I do not like it. It's like the silver, I don't know. It's like glittery or something. If it was like all black, I'd be cool, but Actually, could I flip it over? Yeah, I might could just flip it over. Yeah, I'd just do that. But, yeah, um, heated seats, they work like, yo, this thing big. And radio is good. And one thing I like, I just enabled it too. Let me pause this. Nope, nope, nope. AC is cold, and in Florida, yo, if your AC not working, the car must be totaled. That's a total car. It ain't worth nothing. It could be the cleanest car if you don't have no AC. It's total. You ain't getting no money for it. But I was playing around with it, and in the silver one, I had the pre-LCI iDrive, and that thing, 
I always wanted this in a car. So the DVD in motion and all that stuff. So yeah, I was <laughs> like, this thing is clean. So you just stuck up somewhere, you just pop a DVD in. I don't like, I would never drive and like watch something like that. Maybe it's good for like a passenger or something, but I like to listen to music while I drive. So this is just cool for like parked up and it, you enable it to like be DVD in motion. So while you're driving, you can play it. But that I don't think is a smart idea. So uh, it's just cool to have, to be able to watch it. So yeah, this is the interior, not that bad. So. Let's do the outside. So first thing you notice is the booty behind wheels. I hate these wheels. I want to get some like 182s or something. Some stock stockies for it. So new wheels. And up here the window trim. I gotta get that piece and replace this part. Cause this is like all peeled off and rotted. And this side of the car is not that bad. All the way up to here. Need to get like the M Tech uh, rear bumper. And yeah, here's the main damage part right here. So you can see it. I don't know what happened here, but yeah, this is a perfect candidate to go ahead and wide body this out. And where else? mirror uh, that's a little clean up but yeah then the next big offender is the front headlights and the bumper so those gotta go so new headlights and a new bumper so i want the headlights to be as clean as these so yeah this is like a eyesore <laughs> so as basic as it looks and no oil cooler so standard stuff but other than that all stock no modifications no nothing so even the struts work <laughs> so happy about that so yeah this is it all right so washed it and it cleans up pretty good as you can see not too bad Paint, um, it, yeah, paint is something else. This is it. New project car, maybe, or maybe not. Maybe just to fund some other project, like these over here. But over here, um, still working on the AC lines for here, and I got the motor set up here, and I just need a eight bolt flywheel for it. And it's on back order, so I got the DKM one. So the one I had before, the 550 um, clutch combination. Yeah, that one was slipping when it had a single turbo in here before. So yeah, still doing some work. Get rid of some little rust spots and patching AC stuff. So yeah, mainly the AC work, because I don't like, if you see my prior videos on doing this swap, I didn't like how it was coming over here. And it didn't burst or anything, but still, I just wanted to make sure that it's uh, more efficiently routed over to this side. So from there over and down here to the compressor. So yeah, let's pretty much work on that. But the main thing holding it up is the clutch.